I read this poem, this uh, in Chinese. This was written by uh, a poet named uh, Tu Fu, but the more modern pro pronunciation really is Tu Fu. He lived uh, 712 to uh, 770. So the poem is uh, rhymed. So hope you can hear some rhyme. Titles Guo Chun Wang. Guo Po San He Zai. Cheng Chun Chao Mu Sen. Gan Si Hua Jian Lei. Hen Bie Miao Jing Xin. Feng Huo Lian San Yue. Jia Su Di Wan Jin. Bai Tou Sao Geng Duan. Hun Yu Bu Sheng Zen. I ask him to read English because I have too much Chinese accent. Okay. Next okay, time. so in English, it's called Advent of Spring, and the poet's name is Du Fu. The city has fallen, only the hills and rivers remain. In spring, the streets were green with grass and trees. Sorrowing over the times, the flowers are weeping. The birds startled my heart in fear of departing. The beacon fires were burning for three months. A letter from home was worth 10,000 pieces of gold. I scratch the scant hairs on my white head and vainly attempt to secure them with a hairpin. Okay. You know, the translation uh, doesn't has a rhyme, but has another plus is this, then become a free verse. Start closer to what we are doing today. And, uh, but from the translation, uh, English, you, Maybe you'll notice some uh, contrast, like actually the poem kind of has uh, some couplings, you know, the flower, bird, and uh, the, the bacon fair, and uh, the letter from home, you see that kind of in, in pairs come. Actually, in Chinese, they uh, uh, nicely, carefully uh, coup coupling together, you know, word by word, they match. Okay. Oh, thank you. Could you tell us your name? Okay, I'm going to say that. Sorry. <laughs> okay, my name is Li, Li Tian. I've been in Vinland for 40 years, so long time retired now. And uh, this poem, actually, in, in a way, it chose me. I did not choose the poem. Because uh, 60 years ago, 1945, near the end of the last world, big war, world war. And one day, uh, my friends and me, you know, we walk around in the countryside, saw this uh, broken house, you know, kind of ruined house, abandoned house. And on the wall, I saw this poem. That was the time under Japanese occupation, you know, or the hardship, something, they say, you know, the city has fallen. You know, describes the, exactly what, what I was feeling. I was so, so much surprised, that's why. You want to read okay. it a second time? Huh? You oh, yeah, you can read the second one. You, you read the second one. Oh, we both read the second one. <laughs> okay, thank you. So I read you for the rhyme for his reading. You can feel what's going on. That You can hear again the, the, the couple, couplings. Actually, it contains two couplings in the middle. Chun Wang, Guo Po San He Zai, Cheng Chun Chao Mu Sen, Gan Si Hua Jian Lei, Hen Bie Miao Jing Xin, Feng Huo Lian San Yue, Jia Su Di Wan Jin, Bai Tou Sao Geng Duan, Hui Yu Bu Sheng Zen. Okay, so the English. Advent of Spring. The city has fallen, only the hills and rivers remain. In spring, the streets were green with grass and trees. Sorrowing over the times, the flowers are weeping. The birds startled my heart in fear of departing. The beacon fires were burning for three months. A letter from home was worth 10,000 pieces of gold. I scratched the scant hairs on my white head and vainly attempt to secure them with a hairpin. Thank you. I just one more word, I forgot. I thought at his time, the poems generally kind of, kind of concise, kind of short. So generally kind of short. So that, that's kind of 
and all that sex that can be ruled at that time. But, Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Thanks.